percent per annum interest on the principal, seven percent per annum. Uh, no, seven percent semi-annually on the principal, seven percent semi-annually on the interest, which has been, which is how much? That's twenty-eight percent. Now you add the add what on to it? You add the compoundings on to it. You take that up and bring it current from nineteen ninety, and you see how much this thing has ballooned into. I don't have to worry about the other seven percent. One per seven percent on what their things. But Clay, you see these figures. You know, it's when you mention a bailout of five hundred billion or seven hundred trillion. That's nothing when it was revealed that through the back door of the Federal Reserve, twelve and a half, twelve and a half trillion went to Credit Suisse and to Deutsche Bank and Citibank and all of the majors. In, but a lot went to Europe, thir almost thirteen trillion dollars. So we're looking at major crimes against the people. And, and the Congress, uh, I, I saw an interview with the uh, person that's supposed to be in the government. They're supposed to be the watchdog over the Federal Reserve, and she couldn't tell Congress where the money went. She had no idea. I doubt if she's found her bathroom yet. Yeah. That woman was a pure, plain, and simple dumb butt. Yeah. But, again, no. Clay, the news, the Federal Reserve has confessed to a major portion of the fraud, which means... Clearly, the handwriting is on the wall, and there are big forces behind the scenes that are finally succeeding in taking down these economic powers. And a lot of that is due to the research that VK has done that has blown the whistle and shown all the dots. You have to connect the dots. And most of the people have not been able to connect the dots. But VK has done a tremendous amount, along with Christopher Story and others, who have shown the role that the German CIA, the DVD, has uh, done in insinuating itself and building a fourth Reich within the United States. And that, my friends, is really where it's at. That is, that is what our big obstacle is. That's the big threat now. All of the concentration camps and ovens built in this country and all of the uh, legislation to haul people away as if the people were the enemy uh, when the people are the government. So, and I'm, uh, going, I'm going to come right out and say it. We've got a, uh, a man out here representing uh, himself to be the savior in, uh, for the next ten regions of the republics, et cetera. I was going to I, I was going to ask you I was going to ask you about Tim Turner, Grandma. Pardon? VK, I was going to ask you about a man named called Tim Turner that's supposedly okay. restoring the public. I'm going to tell you that man scares the pants off of me, and I'm fearless because you know me, Clay. I would walk up and kick the devil in the Play. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'll tell you what I think he's doing. I oh. think he is lining the American, the unsuspecting people up. I think he's lining these unsuspecting people up to put them in these FEMA camps. And Clay, how many FEMA regions are there? There are ten. Yes. How many? How many regional governors has Obama set up? Ten. Now you understand the whole bankruptcy plan for the 50 republics is to eliminate the republic, set up the 10 FEMA regions, the 10 regional governors, and they'll haul away anybody who disagrees with the plan. Oh, oh let's see, you mean, let's see, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I think I got the plan right here that uh, that would be uh, uh, corporate farms and regional planning and uh, the abolition of private property and uh, the uh, confiscation of property of all immigrants and rebels. Yeah, sounds like the communist. Has anyone read the communist plan? I just yeah. did. I just did, Grandma. And and you know the the part that scares me is this number nine corporate farms and also government ownership of factories and agriculture. Can you say General Motors? Can you say Detroit? Well, hey, let me tell you about a document I saw that Tim Turner's people introduced, and it got out. It leaked out. It was called the Security Council. And in the Security Council, it said, speaking of corporate farms, it said all plans for family farms must be approved by the Agriculture Department. So it would be worse than uh, basically the fascist food bill, Senate Bill 510. This bill, uh, the, uh, the Tim Turner thing that, that we've all been working with, working on to 
to try to blow the whistle for the public is really a version of this uh, fascist takeover you of need a to, You need to grab a hold of the new state's constitution that they put together as in the early 70s. Clay, I think you've got a set of that. The uh, new state's constitution. Only the privileged, only the ones they uh, pick can go get an education. You've got to get a passport to go from state to state. Now, come on, guys. I can't, I can't even go to Mexico. I'm right here in Tucson. I can't go to Mexico to get any work done on my teeth because I don't have the four or $500 they want from me for a passport. <laughs> you know how many times I've gotten laid over in Mexico? I mean, now i got to have a passport to go get laid? <laughs> Uh, boy, they, they, they really know. They, they, all, they really know how to piss a, 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 a Texas biker off, don't they? Uh -huh. I think they know how to tick us all off. <laughs> all right, now, Grandma, you've got all this. This is all available to us. If we can get it, if we can get it monetized and get the uh, governments working for the people, and it, uh, now that's a that's a hard part. You can't do it by elections because I worked with Charles Collins. Charles Collins was trying to tell the Republican Party we could buy back the Federal Reserve. Yeah. And okay. and, and and they turned his microphones every time Charles got up to speak. They turned all the cameras off. They turned the microphones off. They unplugged his microphone, and you couldn't. Uh, you could you, you you nobody in America knew Charles Collins was the first Republican well, to sign up for the presidency. Well, you know Charles and his lovely wife came to my home, and I I was very impressed with. Well, you know I backed him. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I know I backed him. He was on the cover of my magazine yeah. a number of times. Yeah, I know he was. But you know the thing of it is, there's something that nobody realizes. Jobs equals money. Jobs equals money. Jobs equals money. Jobs equals money. What did I say, guys? Jobs equals money. That's all there is to it. Labor is what produces value. Right. And this is something, and there's another thing that we've got to look at look at seriously, is this off-ledger banking that they're doing. We've got to get back to the old-fashioned debit and credit two-column system. If you've got good credit, you can be helped. If you've got bad credit, you're a shit out of luck, kids. you got to work and get your credit back in order. And that's the way this thing has got to work. You can't have that good old boy game out there of stinky finger. It's got to be done with dignity. It's got to be done with honesty. Now, I'm not going to be here that much longer. I just had my 75th birthday. But I will say this. Any one of these suckers from the Federal Reserve or corporate U.S. puts any undue stress, any undue pressure on me or on this trust, the trust will never help them. And that's in the guidelines. That's in the trust. That's already in the trust. And that includes alignment with this Fourth Reich and any of the people aligned with the Tim Turner it, fiasco. You know? So, if they can't be Americans and respect the principles of liberty and freedom and equal justice upon which this nation was founded, then I don't think they're going to get any help from this trust. Bruce, putting this, in, putting this into effect. Now, now, I have just connected with and set up uh, uh, a deal with a, a financial company in Germany that, that is working through a bank in, in Switzerland to transfer Federal Reserve notes into gold, into a, a gold account. It's called what KB. About, what KB. about all this gold property here in the United States? We are, we've got every ounce of gold that is on, in repositories and depositories lead. 
we've got, there's gold here in this country. We don't have to go outside the country. That's what's been the problem. Everybody's marched their little lace panties across the, across the pond and gone to the foreigners. We don't need those foreigners. We can do it here at home. Do it the American way. There's actually enough gold in Colorado to finance the whole, all 50 republics. Yeah, there's, a, there's enough oil in Colorado, in North Dakota, in Texas. Well, look at we, the Yellow Hair Basin. What's up there? We got, we've got more oil than Saudi Arabia does. How come, how come, how come the, how come the Saudi sheiks are, are driving, uh, you know, hundred thousand dollar Rolls it's, Royces? It's, not, it's just not the Saudi sheiks. If you look at OPEC, OPEC is owned by the top American oil companies. It's not just the Saudis. If you ever listen to Lindsey Williams, he went through the whole plan of why the oil leaders, why the global elite have kept the lid on how much oil we can really tap in Alaska and Colorado and uh, Wyoming. And they keep a lid on it because they want to control it. They want to keep the price high. And they want to bankrupt the people. That's the, that's the plan. Now, the best thing to do with the Zays that want to do all of this is cut off their damn money line. Exactly. Now, here's what I propose. We cut a fire break with this collateral. Use the collateral for what we need here in getting these republics back up. And you let the Federal Reserve and that bunch of rich boys out there that have overextended themselves, that have caused as much trouble as you see the Barrick and those Middle Eastern companies, Abdullah has given up. They're all giving up over these counterfeits that they wrote and told everybody was on uh, Russell Herman's interest. Well, Russell didn't have any interest. And now they're all sitting there going down the damn tubes. Let the son of a bitch just go down the tubes. Now I'm going to tell you something. I'm not very happy with the fact that they murdered my husband. I could have had a lot of happy hours just sitting and talking to the old boy. But I tell you this, fellas. They murdered the wrong woman's man. He didn't own anything. I did. And now I'm going to do what he and I both started out to do, and that's get this country back together. And it's going to take a lot of you people out there putting your shoulders to the harness and putting blinders on, and you go right straight down that road. You don't look over here at this spaceship, and you don't look over there at that little tiddly bopper over there running the whorehouse or running the drug ring. You keep it right straight, and you walk that straight line, and you get this country back together the way it's supposed to be. Well, that's certainly what I want. That's what I've been doing this show for for a long time. And, and you know, you get frustrated. You get frustrated. You know, they do come after you. They do try to kill you. It is not exactly an easy road to hold. But, you know, I, I, don't, I don't recall, I don't recall any anything, any time in history when it was easy to be free. Do you? I don't either. You know what they did, Clay? They wiped my work records. And now I can't get my Social Security because the Clintons have used Donna Shalala to wipe my work records. Now, I don't have any health insurance. But isn't this funny, Clay? If I turn the trust over to them, I can have health insurance. I can have my Medicare. Well, see, they, they, I think I think the CIA has put out a little uh, little uh, 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 memo about you that they they don't want to deal with that old bitch with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lawrence Summers and Reuben. They said they they were, didn't want to deal with that obnoxious bitch. <laughs> All right, no, Bruce. I tell you if, what, if, Clay, I can get to be a damn obnoxious bitch when it comes to the people of this country, and when it comes to this country being 
keeping her free, keeping the people free, keeping the children free, and keeping them happy. Children need to live. They don't need to be under this little Gestapo crap that they've got, a brown shirt movement. Kids need to be free to grow up. Climb that to, tree, climb that tree, you know, chase that, chase that rabbit, tree. you know. Jesus. <laughs> And that's why we need to restore the republic so we can have a free space for our children, so we can have creativity and music again, not yeah. just uh, program stuff from the Kazarian Club in uh, in uh, Hollywood. No, that's right. Happen. Well, you know, I, I keep telling people they don't call television programming for nothing. That's right. <laughs> well said. Teach you, uh, you know, uh, to show you how to think. This is what's cool. This is why. This is why you should dress. This is how you should think. Yeah, sorry, I ain't going but along so for that. You mentioned Robert, uh, Robert uh, Rubin and Lawrence Summers. Yeah. Kept, as having yeah. made that comment about you, why yeah. are these people not on trial for violating Patriot Patriot Acts for economic terrorism? Well, They're why is it Greenspan? Yeah. Why is it Greenspan? Why is it George Bush? Why is it Hillary Clinton? All of oh, George Soros nail his ass. Yeah, that's what we told the FBI when they came after, tried to come after Restore America people because of uh, economic terrorism or any kind of terrorism. We, we told them, look up. You're looking the wrong direction. You're looking down at little people who want to restore the country. You should be looking up at the big terrorists that are writing your paycheck. Absolutely. Grandma, yeah. will, you, will you take a call? Which yeah. Okay, yeah. we've got uh, I've got a caller from the nine one nine area code. Hello, caller. Doc, is this you? Yes. Yes, sir. Doc, uh, you've been uh, you've been listening to Grandma talk about this this uh, trust. I I thought of you when uh, when she talked about monetizing this trust in conjunction with the states and the independent states. Is that something that's uh, this bank in Switzerland uh, might be interested in doing? Could of course, you? yeah. I mean, asset protection is very crucial for people to do, so what's happened in 2008 will not uh, affect them if that happens in the future. So uh, you can discuss that with your guests after the show. Alright sir, thank you very much. I appreciate you listening here. I'll just put you on hold here. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what's the next step, Bruce? What, what do we need to do? I'm right here in Arizona. I'm, a, I'm an hour uh, away uh, from... First, let me say something. Go ahead, dear. Oh, there's 127 accounts right there at uh, uh, UBS. And in Credit Suisse, that have my name and Russell's name on them, but we aren't the signatories. We can't use them. So that's what I think about your Swiss bank. Yeah. Well, getting back to what we can do, I think VK's laid it out. I've laid it out to the grand jury. And as a final word to Tim Turner uh, about what happened, we had 50 grand juries up and humming. We did a presentment against the corporate traders in the Congress and the and the White House and the cabinet and the military. We did a presentment from 50 republics, but that wasn't good enough for Mr. Turner. He basically divided the nation and destroyed over half of the grand juries that we had formed. So all of our hard work went down the drain. I and now we have very few juries properly function. Excuse me. We now have very few of these juries that properly function, but the ones that do are smart enough and have listened to VK and have studied the trust and have studied the certification, the recertification, the revalidation and the whole pedigree of the trust, and they're fairly confident to speak to their to their uh, treasurers and attorney generals and governors. So we have recommended a course of action that they dissuade the governments from bankruptcy and just merely uh, use the stipulations of the trust to get these governments to go back into republic status, to declare the, the republic and to take their oath to the original constitution and then to monetize the trust, which collateral will be provided to each state. VK has laid out a plan of providing collateral to each republic that will take its oath to the original constitution. So we have a simple plan. It just needs to be put in motion. We just need people to get off of their duff and get up and take their meetings. 
Well, you know what? You know what Rusty said. He says pay that Federal Reserve off with Federal Reserve notes, and then send their butts back across the pond in a rowboat, a, a leaky rowboat with a broken paddle. Yippee! Uh, Charles yeah. Collins said we could buy back the Federal Reserve for five hundred million, wipe out a twelve trillion dollar debt. Well, I already put up six point five trillion in gold collateral on a debt swap debt conversion. I think that does exceed the five trillion. You covered it. But you know, now, now Bruce, I, I've met. Uh, we had somebody speak about the uh, the grand juries here. And my question is, well, Pastor Manning, you know, well, uh, a, a wonderful black preacher over there in Harlem, he uh, he had a trial, he had a grand jury, he had a trial, he presented the evidence against uh, Obama, and and everybody just ignored him. There is uh, without enforcement. We uh, wait. Now that you're bringing up, let me get into this because there's only three minutes left. But okay. My wife and I traveled to New York to meet with Pastor Mary Manning, and we told him that he had a problem with enforcement. He had he had a trial jury. He didn't use a grand jury. He he held a trial on um, CIA, Columbia, and President Obama. And we told him he had no enforcement, but that we would present to the Pentagon. We would get uh, presentments from 50 states or 38 states, and we would present that to the military. Which we went and did, and, and Pastor Manning gave us the transcript, which we had transcribed from audio tapes into uh, actual hard transcriptions, and we passed them out in three days. We got that done and passed them out to 38 states who deliberated on all the evidence and came up with presentments that were presented to the Pentagon. And still we got no answer. Why? Because as VK will tell you, there are a lot of traitors in the Pentagon as well. So um, that's where it stood. I mean, we, we need enforcement in this country, and I think the solution is to go back to the 50 republic, where we can get enforcement from the individual free republic well, the union. What, what was it that Russell said? Yeah. Russell said, if we don't get this straightened out, he said, before I die, he said it's going to take 200, 250 years to get it straightened back out to where there's some law. But he also said, I wouldn't want to be the president. I wouldn't want to be a member of, how, of the Congress or the Senate. I wouldn't want to be a judge on the bench. I wouldn't want to be in law enforcement. He came on down to the states and the lo towns and the villages and the local dog catcher. And he said, because the people are going to round them up and give them a fair trial and hang those son of a bitches on the Capitol steps. And I said, I think how can you give them a fair trial with the intent of hanging? He said, treason. That's right. And I, I put that, that exact term in, 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 my, in the uh, forward for my Free American magazine back in 1994. And that's how long I've known V.K. Durham. Grandma to me. Grandma, thank you for being on my show. And oh, you, gosh, got, you, you. You, have, you have someone in Arizona that will do anything that you need done to help you. Well, thank you, thank you. All right, I, thank you. Well, I'm very fortunate to have you and Bruce. And my God, I've got so many out there. You know, we've, uh, someone we're overlooking, though, we've got the Moorish Americans that we've got to bring in. And they are a great group. And I'll get with them and see if we can't get this connected, okay? All right. And Bruce, thank you for being with me, sir. You're very welcome, Clay. Don't forget to work with Mike on getting Arizona Republic back in step. I will be, uh, I'm here for Mike, uh, we've met, we've had breakfast together, and uh, he spoke at the breakfast club. That's great. All right, thank you. Well, thank you. And there folks, there. buy a book, place an order, make a donation, help us do this, you know. Yeah, whatever donation you make, uh, it'll go to uh, the dental bills, how's that, Grandma, and <laughs> thank you again. Thank you.